cool. Start of part three, uh, par five, seventh hole. Like I said, it, it's a good little par, well, good little, it's a quite a long par five, but down breeze probably could get there. Uh, it's very, it's, it, it looks like one of the most open fairways, which means you'll probably miss it because you're trying to belt the cover off it. I uh, can't see how far it is, 480 or something like that from the tip, or 480, 490 from the back. It's, um, like I said, it's sort of one of those holes that it's probably one of the widest uh, that we've teed up on so far. And it's so inviting to just belt the cover off it, which generally means that you miss hit it, uh, which generally means you hit it a little more sideways. Um, yeah, but it's inviting. So I'm gonna try to hit it hard. That's why I've teed it up probably a little bit higher, a bit more tilt and just up on it, try to flip hook that bad girl. Um, yeah, of course looking good. Just let, let us know how everybody is in the comments. Like I said, we're, uh, we're trying to get back into it. Weather's starting to, who knows, we'll see. Needs, need some travel, but uh, that's, that, that'll eventually happen. Right, you know, what do the young kids say? Send it. All right, let's not neck this one and it will be absolutely brilliant. Well, I've hit it okay. It's spinning a little bit straight down the middle. It's not the best. But at least I tried to move the club relatively quick, so it's good. It's good. I'll, you know, keep, keep, keep doing that. At least hit it near the middle of the face, maybe a little bit lower, and that's why it's spun up a little bit more. So let's hit it on the green in two. Right, yeah, where's the ball? There it is there. Right, so very, very good drive. Um, I've got 173 to the front part of the green or to carry the bunker, which really I shouldn't be too worried about. And then I got 180 to the flag. It's basically a six iron, I think. Because if I land it, if I land it just on, or just off the edge, I mean, just on the front, that's gonna be about the club. I would hope, because all I want to do is, yeah, all I want to do is carry at one low 170s. Low 170s, right at it again, it's the, the bunkers are out of place, so if I go in there, it's just, a, it's just a drop, so. All right, let's see if I can't make some contact with this one. Well, it's certainly good, just right of it, go. All right, I think that's short. As you can see, the divot's a little thin, so sort of getting a little bit towed down. I'm not compressing, I'm not compressing it how I want to be. So it's not coming out quite strong. It's sort of coming up and just uh, basically just popping up in the air, not really doing, you know, not my usual ball flight, let's say. Anywho, let's get up there and chip one close. Right, there we go. So. Nearly pin high. It, it, it definitely was not a not a bad. Well, it wasn't a great shot, but it wasn't a bad shot. So this is where my game's average because this is pretty grabby. It's tight, but it's grabby. If I go up here, back into the grain even more, bleh, so maybe I'm in an okay spot here. But I don't know if I want to play it higher. Well, <laughs> when it comes to these shots, because I'm not so good at them, all I want is is connection. You know, getting it somewhere near where I want. I'd, I'd love to hold it, but... Or I just do that. So this is where I probably should have used a putter, which I'm probably gonna do now, actually. But this is where my game, and certainly my game as, as I don't play very much, well, it just gets worse and worse and worse. So, oh, I mean, it certainly sucks because the potential to hit a good shot. All I need to do is get it on the green, basically. And then I belt, belt the cover off it. So like for me, this, it's these misses that I probably shouldn't even, you should even go for the green. You know, these are the ones where, well, I definitely should because <laughs> I'm just talking myself out of it because I've hit a bad chip. And then a not so good putt. But it, yeah, I just, I've got to get slightly better technique, but then also a bit more practice in situations where like I care. 
um, because that's the only way, because I certainly get a little bit anxious on, on that type of a chip. And so for me, it's just trying to bugger. Like I said, the greens are fast. I tried to ram that one in. Having an absolute sword fight. Come on. But yeah, the pin's in a nice little precarious little spot. There's a decent amount of break and it's quick. Yeah, that's just... Turns a good tee shot and an average second shot into a bad next few handful. So, not good. First bad hole or first, first bogue or more <laughs> for, the, for the day. So, anyway, we'll keep going. Like I said, the holes like this do it to me. Hit a good shot, hit a not so good shot in, missing a spot where you feel like you want to get a little cute with it and get it close and you turn out to make an easy bad hole. Anyway, next par five, back in the wind. Rodeo, big deep breath after that hole. So, yeah, I mean, a bogey that could have been an easy double, but on the other hand, could have been a tap-in par or an easy birdie, you know. Just a very poor chip and then a poor next one. So, I would have been better off re-putting that first one. But in saying that, I know my technique's not amazing, and I certainly know that I don't really, well, I don't play much and I don't practice much, so I can't expect much but I try not to run away from hitting a bad shot. Like if I hit a bad shot, like it, it is just what it is. Like at least I'm sort of under the pressure, whether it be on camera or just, you know, giving it a hit. I just want to be able to, you know, feel a little bit of that pressure. So, um, part five, basically up straight, you'll see the drone stuff and it sneaks around to the right. I don't think I've ever got here in two. Not so much because of the length, but generally because it's back into the wind. And then you've almost got to hit it down the left-hand edge to then be able to even give it a give it give it a go. So, you know, back into the breeze, it's probably not going to be easy to get there. So I don't know how far away old mate is there. I don't think I can. Well, I want to say that I can't reach him. I want to say that I can't reach all the way there because I mean, back into the breeze, it is a long way. So basically aiming down the left and um, giving it a hit. Yeah, it's just leaking a bit right more than I wanted to. A bit down the tree line-ish, so I've got no chance of going for it in two anyway now, so it's, a, it's just a layup. So, where's my ball? Yeah, right there, bottom of the screen. So you can sort of see there's literally nothing. Green, green's up over here, sort of thing. And so I'm gonna have to punch out over at that basically tree there, which leaves me maybe about 100-ish meters in. So that tree that I just pointed to, that skinny one, that's 160 to there. So we need to be at it, but way shorter of it. So I've got a little six, but then there's a mound in front. So this is going to be a kind of a hard one, I think. As long as I get it back out there, it's all, it's all I need to do. So I want to hit this maybe 100, 120. Like that. Cool. Maybe go a little bit, that should be okay, but can't really go for it in two. And like I said, I don't think I've ever been there in two because of that. I either hit it too far to the right, like I do here, or it's just too much back in the wind and can't get there. So yeah, pretty good. So I've got a bit over 100 out. Let's have a look at what the range Majiggy says. It's a little bit damp here. It's certainly a little bit on the moister is moisture a word? On the moisture side of things. 114 meters back into the wind. Again, it's probably that same sort of nine iron as hit back on the third hole. Uh, pins in the middle, I think. So I think red's front, yellow's middle, 
blue is back. So, let's say 114, 120, probably playing closer to 130, I reckon. Well, that's, that's what I'm gonna play it as anyway. So, not a belted 9-9, but just a decent one. So the wind's probably not directly into, it's probably pushing it to the right by a small amount. Like that. I like it, I mean, it was the type of shot that I was trying to play. I don't know how close it is though. I mean, it looks, it looks good, put it that way. Nice big divot. So yeah, the guys are behind me. He's got, uh, I think his name's Mark with, the, uh, with his young fella. Perfect, I think that's brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant. So I'll quickly zoom in just to show you guys, but I can't tell how close it is. It's definitely a decent shot and you can hear that wind. Hopefully you can't hear too much of it. So it's definitely, definitely decent, but that wind is strong. Real strong. Okay, so this is looking back down the fairway. The tee's basically way up here. That's where I sort of hit my uh, third shot from. But um, yeah, I've hit a pretty good shot. Like I said, that, that wind is a lot stronger. I was like, eh, could I get a wedge there? Probably not. Uh, well, wedge probably would have been short towards the front there. So at least I've hit a couple there that are probably just past the flag and like distance wise, I've, I've been pretty happy with today actually. Been pretty happy with. Like I said, it's just a pity that last hole, but this is for the bounce back, eh? This might just creep to the right. Like I said, the greens, as you can see, they're relatively shiny which means, well, this is sort of down grain, downhill. So, like I said, this would be very, very nice for it to go in. Took a bit of a wobble and it was a sucky stroke. And you could see how much I either pushed it and or it broke more than I expected it to. So like, I thought I left that short for half a second I thought I left that short for half a second and it still got there. So I'm going to go even a bit over a cup. See, because I thought I was, well, I thought I was aiming too straight. That broke at least a cup, at least maybe even a, a cup and a bit. Well, it wasn't a bounce back, but it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't anything worse than a par, so that's good. All right, short ninth to come, and then the back nine. Easy. I'd rather the back nine here than the front. The front sort of up and back, up and back. Uh, it's a, it's it's way more. There's definitely some more movement left and right uh, on the back nine. And um, I don't know, I just think visually maybe a little bit better. Uh, Cause it's like I said, it's a bit same, same front. The back's brilliant. But both nines are good. Cause uh, yeah, the green, I would rather, yeah, the back nine. Rather the back nine for sure. There's Steve Irwin way back there as well. Rightio. Ninth hole. Nice little finisher. <clears throat> not too long, 3.30. Um, it's not really, well it is driver, it isn't driver. As you can see, it's basically dead straight. You've got some bunkers there. Like I said, they're out of play just because they're fixing them up. But really, the shot for me is like there's a bunker down the left. There's a bunker down the left. It's sort of, that's sort of my aiming point, so I hit a cut off that. And if it flares up into the breeze, it's enough to cover that first pot. And then you're sort of left with uh, less than 60 in, sort of like a, just a bit of a pitch. So that's my thoughts, whether it happens or not. I'll probably double cross myself, but down the left is basically the play at that bunker and then just sort of hit the shots that I've been hitting today. Like that. <laughs> that's neck, but that's literally the shot when I try to hit a cut. Yeah, so it's enough to cover that first pot, and that's all I sort of cared about. 
just, you know, it was not a great strike. It was rubbish. Would have been sort of in that section of the club. It was horrible. But, like, that's an easy cut. Get it down the middle there and move on. They said that it's the next shot for me. Off the tee. As we know, off the tee, it's not so bad for me. Everything else is terrible. So, let's see how we go. Battery's going good? Yeah, good. Right. I didn't hit it anywhere near as good as I thought. I'm literally in line with the bunkers. So, that's not good. I actually hit it. I actually struck it really bad. Like I said, really, really healy. But uh, 96 meters in, pin is middle. We are back into the wind. Like, I generally don't play this shot, but I might try. So this is just gonna be an easy 50 degree. So play like a flat 50 in there and see how we go. Can we see everything? Are we good there? I can't see, yep. Uh, a flat 50. 94 meters, so it's basically playing just under 100 meters, so yeah, let's see how we go. Well, it's a bit further to the right than I wanted it. Damn it. It's a, it's a good spin, it's good spin and all that sort of stuff, and it's definitely a little bit short. But I was trying something different. You know, it really, it's just a sand wedge, but Probably could have, like I said, hit that a little bit harder. Turn it over, maybe. Try to squeeze it out even a little bit more, but I don't know, trying things. This said first time in a couple of weeks out, and then really the second time in three months. Maybe even, yeah, three months. All right, so to the left of the camera is the fairway, is basically where I've come from. Straight back that, that way. So uh, it's actually not that far from pin high. So instead of being 96, probably 90 odd. But just way right of target. Way, way right. Like I said, not ideal. But uh, let's see how we go here. Again, hopefully it's not crackly with the mic because I said, done half a test yesterday, walked a little bit away and through my back it didn't really, like as in directly me being 180 to the, to the receiver, it was crackly. So I'll, I'll try not to talk too much. Right here, it's uphill, might sneak to, well, to my left camera's left a little bit, but not much. I said the greens feel really firm and, and pretty damn quick, so I said they're good. They're very, very good. I've belted the cover off that. That's probably the worst stroke of the day. I said talking it up a little bit, not really thinking about it. <laughs> That's terrible. I said, even though it was uphill, like I was saying it was uphill. Like I said, still really, really quick. Like, But that was the worst stroke of the day for sure. <sighs> Come on. Dead straight, started to wobble after the hole. Damn. <sighs> Would have been nice. I don't even know what that is. Maybe square? Damn it. Anyway. Mm, easy three putt. We'll go to the back nine. My favourite nine. Beautiful. And don't forget, smash that like button. <laughs> 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 you that's what you say, don't you? Oh, that's what they say to say. Hey? I don't know, if you don't like it, don't like it. Hit, hit this like, who cares? Yep. I don't care. But anyhow, see you then. Beautiful. See you.